Hi, everybody. I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the fabulous, amazing Jewel Tool Polishing System coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. You guys, today is going to be a great show. I'm actually going to continue showing you guys how to sand and polish the following items. We're going to work on resin. We're going to work on polymer clay. And we're going to work on... Well, I'll show the flat tops with the micro finishing, but I'm going to show you techniques. So today is really technique driven. So last week I did a show where I polished this amber. If you guys watched it, I polished an amber. So I got lots of questions, you guys, like, oh my God. Tons of questions, tons of things that I need to answer. So today is going to be an answering and demonstration of how I do it with techniques answered. So you guys, today is really good. It's a like note kind of day. You'd really get some good jewels of wisdom today. So hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. So while I'm waiting for people to come on in, I'm going to just start. I think I'm just going to start. I don't have time to wait. Today, listen, my daughter's getting married this week. I got things going on. I don't have time to wait. So if you're here, these are all sanding and polishing techniques revealed. <laughs> Honey's revelation. Revelation. Sweet baby Jesus in a manger. I'm still at work. Surprise, surprise. Hi, Karen Miller Anderson. Hello, hello. Yes, you're still at work. I love it. You're like watching me. Hi, Nicole. That was Nicole who said, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to, yeah. So last week, if you guys watched, I showed you guys how to work on amber, okay? Um, if anyone is interested, I can show that again. But I primarily want to show you guys the, um, the rules on working with these uh, wheels. Let me show you guys something. People kept asking me, what's the difference from the soft flex and the cushion, okay? So let me show you guys. So the cushion bump on, the black one, is great for when you're working with anything that has a sharp corner. This would be an example. Do you guys see? So this is considered a sharp corner. And this is exclusive to only these types of items. A round bead, another round bead, a dome surface like this. You see how there's no sharp corners? The reason being is if you're pushing hard, do you guys see how it's cushy? So if you're pushing hard and you caught a corner, it's not gonna make, it's not gonna like connect. It's gonna actually catch and tear your abrasive. So if your abrasives are flaking off on the edges, that means you're doing, um, you're using the wrong product for the item. So you can't, for, so for the soft fine, and the medium fine, I mean, I saw, sorry, soft flex and the medium flex, it is only good for using it on curved areas where there is not a sharp corner. This is an example A. This is another example of not to use. You cannot use it on something like this. You cannot, okay? You can get away with it on the top because it's little dome. Yes, you can. But for the most part, if you touch that corner, and I see a lot of people doing it, so I could do it, no problem, look. So I can do it. See, so look, you can do it, don't get me wrong. It's not that you can't do it, but the second that you wanna roll and sand over here, you're asking for problems because it won't do it. But you can, and the medium is great for doing stuff like this, you guys. The medium soft flex will catch less than the soft, um, the soft one. You guys see how you can do that? And just stay, and also you guys, you need to stay away from the edge. If you work here, Yo, can you do a side profile? Okay, how I'm working, let me move my hand so you guys can see it, okay? So look, so when I'm working, you guys, I'm over here first and I lift it up. Do you guys see that? So I'm over here first and I lift it up. So I'm not here first because if you're here first, you will cut a groove in here. So it's always great to go like this and bevel up and hold it even. You see how I'm holding it even? 
You guys see that, how I'm just holding it even. And you can do top view. There you go, top view. And when you're done, you guys, do not drag it off. When you're done, give it a little zhuzh up and down, little nice little side to side, change the rub pattern, and then drop it downward, okay? Do not slide off the wheel. If you slide off the wheel, two things will happen. You will get a doot 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 pattern, like a little striation pattern. And if you're popping off of it, you're going to touch this corner, and this corner will cut and catch the side of this abrasive, and you just blew your abrasive. Just because you decided to slide instead of dropping. The jewel tool is designed to do no brain work. So you just go zh, 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 and drop it. Don't pretend you have to like, wow, that, that's micro finishing film. Wow. Look at that. The less you know, the better, honest to God. And so from there, that was, and so that was with the medium cushion. You guys see that? And then from there, of course, you would go to the, the I mean, the buff where it says use with compound. And then you'll see the other one where it says do not use compound. So you would just do this just real quick. So while I'm at it, let's finish it up. Literally two seconds. I got to, if anything, I have to find compound. That's what takes longer. Try to always choose a place where there's no black and just go like this. Change the scratch, but don't push into it. So you don't push into it and already you're getting this. You see that? So don't push into it. Just this. So the compound is just like the finest pre-polish known to man, if you will. That looks good. I'm going to do it one more time. So don't push. If anything, just pass it a few more times. Pushing will just, um, will just melt it all away. And then what you do is you take the do not use with compound. And all you do is lightly glide it just like so. Oh, wow. And there you go, you guys. We're done. You guys see how even that is now? I know, it's so pretty. Okay, so we're done with that. That was a total of three and a half minutes. Yes, if your piece have an attitude, I love that. Oh, we got more people on. Hello, hello. Nicole's singing, if your piece has an attitude, they all have attitudes. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Ooh, if your wheel is trying to get it to you, drop it, drop it like it's hot. Yes, that's it, drop it like it's hot, hot, but just drop it, just drop it. I love that, Nicole, I'm gonna sing it the whole time on my show. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, 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 hot. Yeah, Snoop Dogg, I met Snoop Dogg. Did you guys know? Here's a fun fact for you all. I've met Snoop Dogg. One might say we had a good camaraderie within each other. No, I wasn't smoking. <laughs> Back then it was legal. It was, it was not legal. Um, and he was starting, um, he was starting a woman's group called Doggy's Angels. I'm not making this up. You can Google it. It's a real thing. So it was three girls, and he was wanting them to, like, I don't know, be on his label. And so when I met him and he found that I did jewelry, he asked if I would design some of their jewelry pieces that are going to go in their music video. So I did. I actually designed them, and I went to their recording studio out in, I think, Culver City. And I dropped it off and I met with the girls and we did a fitting and they love it. But it was very like, it was very video, like music video-ish stuff. So it's like, I remember I made a necklace with a connecting chain that was going to go around the waist and they had all this embellishment.
pins and they're just funky jewelry. So there you have it. Something else I've ever, I've never told anyone. <laughs> Hello, uh, Mujaba. Mujaba says, hi, I'm working uh, to fabrication in Cartier. Oh, okay. Uh, if you have any questions on finishing jewelry, ask me and I will show you right now in the live. Do you hear that? Mujtaba? Mujtaba Yusufi. There you go. Yeah, I can definitely help you. I've helped many. Um, Hello, hello, Kathy Voss. Hi, Don. Hi, 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 everybody. Oh, we got people watching. We got more people. Okay, so that is a technique, and I just wanted to go over techniques. And then also, you guys um, know that the polymer clay um, wheel, like the abrasives, also come in flat top versions. I haven't really spent time in showing you, but people wanted me to show that. Um, and, but one, one thing, yeah, I can show you that right now. So we have all the grades here. I don't know where my course is, but this is the medium. So, so. Well, like even this will take off the powder. Like, look at that. Look at that. So nice. Look at that. It takes off all the powder. Makes it good as new. Look at that. Ooh, yes. Do that one. Let me clean them all up. There we go. Here's another one. See how candy this is. You know, it's funny. I love my silky brush, you guys. This is the larger one. This is the smaller one, which I love both. Okay. But it's funny because Linda Gerhardt, I love her to death. Linda Gerhardt asked me to come up with a larger version because she loved them so much. She wanted it to clean her nails, clean her discs. And I said, that's funny you should say that, Linda, because I'm actually testing the larger ones right now. The manufacturer sent it to me. And I go, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put them up. So it was so funny that these are, we've been sitting on my desk for testing, but until Linda told me, I had ignored them. So thank you, Linda Gerhardt. Everyone say thank you to Linda Gerhardt for pushing me to, but because they're so helpful. Um, I love them. I use them on my disc for adding water. Um, so these are it. So let's go ahead and show you guys. So this is the medium flat top, you guys. Hold on. This is the medium uh, flat top discs. Now this is great, you guys, for getting things flat. Is let's say, you know, say you're going to work on the edges down these are really good doing that see you just hold it like so and just sand it down beautiful just like so and perfect look at how perfect that came out you guys see that like super smooth super 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 smooth if you want to do a little bit more you can it's just if you want to shave if you want to Get it flat if it's too thick for, oh my God, look at how perfect that is. Super crisp. And this is great too. Like, say you wanted to just do the back side, you guys, you can sand them just like so. Hold on. I got to carry I put my nails, you guys. Hold on. Wait, there it goes. You know why? I just want to show you guys something. I kind of sanded one of my nails out. Okay. So we don't that because I kind of nails for the wedding. So if, if you if that if that happens, have no fear, you guys. Just this is what you can do. You can start it off slow. You can start off like this. So start it off um, without turning it on, and you can turn it on slow like this, and there you go, and you're good to go. Once you're on, you'll hold it. You're good to go, and you can get it nice and flat, and you're good. It's just that initial jump, you know. So if you want to sand it down perfectly flat, here it is. Oh, yes. Look at that, you guys. Look at how perfect that is. Yes, Patty, that is. Hi, my Patty. Patty, this is correct. Flat tops are perfect for large items that don't fit under the disc. Sorry, guys. I just knocked the whole thing over. 
sorry. Yeah, I can't get it to focus. Oh. <laughs> Nicole, we can't focus. There it goes. There, I can focus now. This lens works best when it's farther away. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so that was the slow speed. I mean, that was the medium. And this is the fine. And I'll just keep going real quick and show you guys it. So you just put it off like this. Oh, there you go. Dude, I'm already done. Oh, you can already see the shine. But I'm going to hit it one more time on this side. They're really good, you guys, especially for the larger ones. She's absolutely right. Hi, Patty. Hello, hello, my love. I'm stressing out. I don't know how you made it through your wedding, but got a lot going on. Yeah, my her daughter's wedding, yes. So here you go. Do you guys see this one? Look at that. Look at how beautiful this looks. Yes, Kathy, don't you worry, honey. It, it happens. I don't want you to worry, Kathy. It happens to all of us. Listen, it's physics. It's going to happen. It's fine. But what we can do is use our brain and defy the laws of physics. Yeah, right. No, you can. <laughs> you're always making fun of me. Listen, y'all, us women could do anything we put our minds to. Right, Tom? Like, <laughs> I saw Tom. Hi, Tom. How are you? Oh. Oh, Mustafa, I have a video on uh, Cartier Santos um, that I did. I, I actually have a Cartier Santos, but not here. Um, but I can show you. Post the link to the video. Okay, so okay, so that's that. And then the fun, very fun. So this is the very fine. Wait, yeah, my phone's gonna fall. Are you still recording? Because I, I, I was starting to record and it fall down. Yeah, it's going up. Okay, stop, stop. Oh, maybe now it's back. <laughs> you guys, my phone is a winner chicken dinner. Winner chicken dinner. Yara doesn't like my weird sayings. You're like a kid. You play with the words. I am a kid. You gotta be, have a kid at heart. You know, you have to be a kid at heart. I just let go. <laughs> when I heard my nail hitting it, I let go. I love it. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that for real? Yeah, I'll do it again. I have to do it again because Yara wants me to record. Yara, but you're too close. That's fake. Okay, I'll do a fake one. Okay, there you go. You yeah, so here we go. All right, so here you guys go. And then if you guys ever want to polish it, so from this stage, you would go, because you want it flat. So you know, you guys, let me show you a technique that you guys barely show. If you want it flat, you guys, you can use your, your flat top felt wheel. Now listen, mine has, you can tell, do you guys see the little, the silver and the, the color, do you guys see all that? Now, what you need to do is, since we're working on polymer and you want to take that metal off. So you're going to run this at like pretty good medium speed and you're going to take your abrasive, I, I sell these in a pack. These are excellente. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put it on a piece of wood. Let me actually go like this so you guys can see. So I just got a block of wood, something I got from Home Depot. Okay, and so you're just gonna hold it over the disc and just sand it so ever so lightly. Okay, put your vacuum on, and you're just gonna hold it, and you guys can see it. Okay, see that? Just sanding it, sanding it nice and even. There we go. You guys see that? We took a lot of the black off. Now you're gonna run it again and get it cleaner, and this should be it. I know it's a little black, you guys. I don't. A cleaner one would be perfect that you can allocate for your um, polymer clay or stone. But I don't know why I have one. 
they don't give it to me here. So now your wheel looks like this. Let me show you. So we're clean. We don't have any of that metal. Okay, so this is fine. Now you're going to take your compound. Don't use a dirty compound. Try to keep one that's got a clean edge to it, like a clean edge right here. And give yourself some good amount of compound. There you go. And look, visit that piece that I was working on as soon as I find it. Oh, here it is. So you're going to start polishing this back like so, you guys, right here. So we're going to run that. Oh, thank you. Mustaba Mustaba says, I do great work on the Cartier Santos video. Oh, thank you. I'm available if you have any questions. Oh my God, I haven't even stopped yet. And you guys see that? Hello. Okay, I'm just gonna, wow, dear Lord. Hold on, let me start again. I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna cross polish it, you guys. So just change up the scratch pattern. You guys see how I do that? And then you just want to touch it up in the center a little where the fluff is, where there's no compound. Look at that. And you get this amazing polish. You guys see that? Yeah, let me actually show this. Hold on, I need an after picture. Hold on. Hold on, stop recording, Yarrow. It's okay. Super flat. I just want to show how super flat it is and how polished it is. Stop it. Okay. Good. So, and you can actually, once you've polished it flat, you can you oh stop it. Sure. Yeah, you try to do it. Look. There you go. Yeah. So then you can you can either you can touch it with the do not use with compound. And so you can just sorry, we're having technical difficulties, Yaho and I. So listen you guys. So all you're gonna do is let me record this. Hold on. Okay. So yeah. Uh. Okay, do not use compound. Okay, run it at high speed. And you're just going to lightly touch it. We're talking light touch. Did I tell you light touch? Like we're talking the lightest touch should come up. You guys see the shine already pop? Can you guys, I know, I'm going to show them first. You guys see how it's shinier there? Let me show the difference. Hold on. I'm going to do a before and after. Do you guys see the difference? So this this portion from here down, I didn't polish. You can tell that top part is a deeper green. Can you see the difference? Yeah, like a clear coat, exactly. But to me, so if I was to sand it with the use with compound, you guys, since it's a flat surface, yes, it'll get to the polish, but would it be as dead flat and perfect? No. So I, I always give you guys options, like how to do things like the, you know, options. You know me, women love options. Okay, so here we go. This is the final, final countdown. Oh, look how flat that is, guys. That is so cool, ridiculous. Can you imagine if you did pieces like this and they looked phenomenal like this? So yeah. Yo, can you help me do an after on my phone? Hold on. It looks a little on the blurry side, so I could use some help. Hold on guys, you guys look at it while I get an after shot.
Okay, cool. All right, so does that help? Oh, let me read your, okay. Thanks, good work, bravo. Ah, oh, thank you. I already said that. Okay, so, all right, so that's that. These are techniques, you guys. I'm just going through the motions. And then you can do the same on amber. I know you guys um, saw me did amber. I'm not gonna do amber. If you guys wanna see the amber, you can look up my amber video I just did last week. So that was, uh, okay, there you go. Hello, hello. Okay, so one thing I wanted to ask you guys, I forgot what I was gonna ask you. Yeah, and one thing that people didn't understand, and let me explain this real quick. So, yes, I'm using the microfinishing films. The microfinishing films can also be used by hand by putting it on a stick. And this is what people were all confused about last week. So, what I have, you guys, is I sell those the same films. So, like the same film that's here, I sell them in sheet form. So, like, for example, the course is this one. Look, the course is, oh, God bless it. The the course is this, and you get a few. You get a few different grades. You've got the medium, then you've got the fine, the orange right here, and you've got the very fine. But you also get other grades as well. What these are great for, if you don't want to use, if you don't want to invest in the discs, this is a great uh, uh, option because you can put it on a stick. Where's my stick? I was just playing with my stick. I think I was yelling at people with it. Anybody know where my stick went? Stick is now left the building. Stick. I don't know. I swear I was like hitting things with it. Yaro, did you see me with it earlier? Okay, so you can actually fold these and put it on a a stick. Like you know, we're tying the stick. Like you know, a lot of people like to borrow the paint mixing wood sticks. I swear I had it, Yaro. So anyways, no big deal. All right, so you can also use it on the, you can use it on the stick and use your buff to polish. So yeah, that's that. All right, any other questions? Because I wanna show one more thing. No, no other questions. Go, keep going. Okay, I'll keep going. Find my stick, Yarrow. Yeah, okay, okay. So there's one question someone had. I know this is going off, but this was on the flat, Okay, so someone asked me, how long of a piece can you use on a flat top scratch eraser, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys real quick because these are things that people keep asking me. So, you know, can you do a side view or something? Or, oh, here, let me actually do this. No, so this is a really large bangle, like to the point where it don't even go on my wrist, like it's huge, open, you guys see that? So this is something that could work on the flat top, no problem. Like let's say you wanna clean the whole side. This is perfect, you guys see that? I'm not even at full speed, okay. So you can do this. Now, if you want, wow, that came out really cool by the way. Um, so that's it large. And then also too, if you have a large flat piece, just wanna clean it, this is perfect for that. Let me show you. Hold on, I had a big. Oh. I don't, I can't find things. Can you, you're trying, you're not trying hard enough. So this is also great. Like if you wanna work on something long, you can actually feed it right through and keep it nice and even like this. Does that help? Okay, I wanted to show that. And of course on the edges, zip, 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 zip. You guys got that? I kind of am zipping really through quick. If you guys have any questions, it's a good time to ask me because I'll show you anything you want to see. And then, Mustafa, are you still watching? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don, you're so cute. Uh, 2007, Don. Don asked when I met Yaro, 2007. Yes. I met him, in, in, but you guys, something even more important than that. I had my fitting with Michael Costello yesterday. The dress. Okay, so you guys, just follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting some stuff. So I can't show the actual material that Michael chose for me. 
but I'll show you guys really soon. It's so good. You're welcome, Dawn. You're so cute. Okay, so do, do I have to explain any more, you guys, with the polymer clay? I think that helps tremendously. But let me just go over one quick thing, you guys. Just remember, we've got soft flex and we have medium flex, okay? And Yaro is going to put up the new one that was coming, and that's the super thin flex. You guys see that? So that's that. Let me show you guys the three families. So we have the soft flex, which is thick and it's soft and squishy. Then we have the medium. Do you guys see the medium? The medium is also soft and squishy. Don't, don't be fooled. Okay. So the thinner you go, the less catch risk is there. So the thicker you are, the higher the catch risk. Does that make sense? So the thinner you go in the cushies, the less catch risk. Does that make sense, you guys? And also, too, if you guys hear flat or domed, this constitutes as a flat. I just want you guys to know. Let me show you guys something because people are not understanding this. Hold on. So this is considered flat. Give me a second, you guys. Let me show you something good. Okay, here, look. So this is considered a flat surface when we talk about using flat and not flat. Even though it's curved, the surface is still flat. Are you guys with me? It's not domed, if you will. You see how it's not domed like, like this one? This would be considered domed. This is considered flat, even though they're curved. Does that make sense? Because you can use, like it's got a, it's got a, it's got a circular shape to it. It's got a curve to it. Does that make sense? Because people keep asking me this, and I just hope I can clarify it. Nicole has a question. So, you guys, if I say flat, remember, you guys, a flat surface can also have a curve that you have to follow and follow flat. Do you know what I mean? So it's not always necessarily, you know, something like this. This is considered a dome. You see that? Okay, go ahead. Nicole has a question. Thank you, Nicole. Hi, Hilda. Oh, Hilda, is you're asking for Hilda. Okay, got it. What am I answering? What's your question, Nicole? Mm, okay, so. Okay, so if you're working, if you're making a cap out of your own mold, you would definitely use both. You would use the round pieces, the kit for round pieces, and the kit for flat pieces. Because you need to address the edges, the back side of the cab. Do you know what I mean? So we have a kit that has, it's called the deluxe kit. And in the deluxe kit, you're going to have the ability to do the domed and the flatter. Because a cabochon has a flat side, and a dome side. So that's why it's important to have both, you know, wheels when you're really tackling these, you really need the proper tools. I'm not joking. If not, it'll just make you crazy. He wants the process of sanding to polish. Okay, so basically this is it. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so I don't have a cab, but I'm gonna make one. Give me a second and you're gonna see a cab arise. Yep, got it, Yarrow. I got it, got it, got it. Okay, so look, you guys. So I have a dome bead. You guys ready? Hold on. I have a bead. Okay, so I have a bead right here. I have a bead, and I'm going to create a flat side real quick. Very, very quick. You know how I'm going to do it? I'm going to do it real quick with my medium scratch eraser. Okay, so yes, this is the medium scratch eraser. I'm gonna create a flat spot on, with this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it right here and get a flat spot. Ready and go. Oops. So we're gonna create like a cab, if you will. 
Wow, it's coming out so good. However, maybe I should have used the purple. Never mind. Let's go back. It's taking it. So this is what this is what the scratch erasers will do. Let's show you guys. You guys see how it created a nice little flat spot? But you see how it does it gradually? Can you guys see that? There you go. Okay, yeah. So if you need it done quick, grab the purple because girlfriend has things to do today. I have no time. So you just hold it here. Okay, let me go like this. Okay, there you go. Oh my God, you guys like butter. Like freaking butter. There we go. Look at that. Look at I need help on doing this. Oh, shoot. I, okay, I need to show a side. Yeah, just, just this. Oh. Okay, so now we have like a bead. Do you guys see that? We made a cap. So we made a cap. So if you wanted to sand everything, you guys, you guys would just start from, I would say, depending on how much you sand, I would start at the medium. You guys, and start sanding. Can you record, y'all? I need an overhead view. Okay, perfect. Hold on, y'all is here helping me. Okay. You're too close. Okay, so here we go. Oh. So you're gonna run it slow. So you're gonna hold the cab like this and just sand it down. Do you see how I'm doing? Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Wrong words I used. Do not use these words. Okay. So you just sand it. Shoot. Can I see where it's sanding? I'll just sand this whole side. No way, Tom. Someone stole your uh, finished stones. I'm Stole. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're sanding this down, you guys. Can you see that? Nice and sandy. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's the medium. Okay, so the, you go from the medium. We're going to go to the fine. I know, but I need an aerial view. You had it at an angle. And run it out slow. And so the secret is stay in the center. Don't come off to the edge, you guys. Stay here and rock and roll. You guys see that? Just stay light. Don't push hard. It's got to be the super lightest touch and just keep it moving. Lisa Pavelka always teaches her polymer clay classes with the jewel tool and says, you guys cannot stay flat. You guys got to always keep it moving. The, the cushy wheels will aid to you you know, having a nice curved dome surface, you guys, look. So that's that. And then we do, that was the fine. Then we use the very fine. We're getting running at slow speed. And you can already see a shine. Favorite one. This will be your favorite wheel. You'll see that this one will wear out faster because you're going to love the finish of this and you're going to use it. Like, oh, mama needs more of that shine and smoothness. Oh, yes. Let's just make sure I got the whole top area. And it's super smooth. You guys see that? You can even see the colors nice. So just make sure when you do it, just give yourself one more pass. Just in the event that you guys might have miss the spot you know what i mean you want a nice fluid smooth pass and there you go see that okay now you just go to the polish okay so the same goes for use with compound so use with compound add compound there we go now, light touch. I know your first instinct is going to want to be pushing it in, but no pushy, pushy. I promise you, if you push, you'll ruin. So no pushy, pushy. This is going to give you your ultimate sanding. 
The finest sanding known to man is happening as we speak. So a few passes until all those little scratch patterns are gone, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm just doing this one corner. Another pass. Make sure it's nice and even, you guys. Okay, so now... Oh God, it's good. Oh God, it's good. Okay, so now you have this. You see? And then you're going to go to... Not use with compound. Okay, you're going to run this at high speed. And watch this. The second I touch it, you guys see this? The second I touch it, look. Look at that sign. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, tie, uh, fix mine. So let it glide, guys. Let it glide. Glide. Let those little fibers do all the work. Please, let, let the, the fibers do all the work. Just don't touch the camera anymore. It's beautiful. It's good. Yeah, but when I show the after, it doesn't want to mm -mm. show it. Look. Then you keep it where the disc is. Let's turn it off. You guys see that? There you go. See? Keep it low. Mm hmm Okay, guys, you guys see that? Good. It's good. So there you go. I made a cab real quick. Thank you. Oh, Linda. Thank you so much. Linda says beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it, came, it, it works. You guys, listen. I'm, the, I'm that person that it has to work. I will not put anything out there, you guys, if it doesn't work, just so you know. So if you're not getting good results, you're doing something wrong. Plain and simple. Contact me. Contact my staff. We will guide you. Ask us on the chat. We will guide you. So go ahead. So Tom, yeah, and you, of course, use the proper kit and use my techniques. No pushy, pushy. Don't ride the edge. Drop it like it's hot. Like it's hot. It's not hot, but like it's hot. You know what I mean. Okay. So thank you, Karen. Tom says, okay, we're going to summarize. Okay, so there's a lot of conversations apparently going on, so Yara's going to brief me on it. So go ahead, Yara. I'm sorry, Tom. Oh, three years of collecting is gone. That hurts. I'm so sorry, Tom. And you know, Tom, Tom has been so gracious. He sent us donating Chrysocola, like rare, rare Chrysocola. He's donated to my fundraisers multiple times. So, Tom, my heart breaks for you. I swear, take whatever stone you want. I'll give you, I'll start your collection. I'm the first to start your collection. What do you want? I'll restart your collection, Tom. I will donate a stone. I, 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 I will still... Well, I'll donate a stone of your choice. How about that, Tom? I will donate to start your collection. Uh, something good. I don't care. Pick one. I just, you know, I don't know why certain things happen to certain people. Sweetest, kindest. Just feel bad. Well, oh, oh, Carol says she's having a problem getting my bezel on the flat top being even. Okay, so Carol, what you need to do, and this is a tip, this is really good. Thank you so much for asking that, Carol, because I'm gonna answer it. This is a tip, okay? Let me show you real quick. Mine are all even, hold on. I'm trying to find a bezel that's, uh, but let me show you a tip. Give me a second while I look for another bezel. Oh, I think I have one here. Crap. Oh, this is good, mine is crooked. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You're in luck. So I happen to have a bezel. If you can see down here is a lower height and there is a higher height. So I have to shave this side down so it becomes even. You guys all see that? Yes or no? Please let me know. While you guys are deciding that, I'm going to show my camera. I'm going to. So right here is lower than this side. This side is higher and this side is lower. 
So we're going to make it even. Okay, see that? Everyone see that? Yes, perfect, Mary. Okay, so Mary, you said she's using this flat top. So I would say for something like this, Carol, so for example, this, yes, it's got to be sanded down. So if you're a little leery about using the purple ones, and this is what I was saying when I was showing the scratch eraser wheels, how they still will sand things down evenly, but not so quick that, you know, with the blink of an eye, the bezel's gone. So a medium would be great. A medium scratch eraser would be perfect for this. Yeah, because this one is going to rip and sand that metal off, the purple. The scratch erasers are going to gradually move the metal and blend it. So it's not a sanding process, if you will. Kind of reshaping. Yes, perfect. So yeah, so right now, I'm going to show you a tip. So what you're going to do, Carol, is you're going to grab a black Sharpie. Ready? So you're going to grab a Sharpie, and you're going to mark, you're going to mark this area right here. Okay? So you're going to mark where you need to shave. That's about right. The rest will follow. Yep, that's about right. Yep, yeah, I'll just make sure I'm, yeah, I'm not the right thing. Okay, so perfect. So now what you're going to do, Carol, now that you know where the higher part is, this area, you're going to hold it right here. Can you do a side profile, your yeah, video? With this? Uh-huh, because I have to show. So now what I'm going to do, Carol, is I'm going to concentrate more pressure right here. So when I'm holding it, you're nice and flat, right? So keep it nice and flat. You see that? So I'm going to tilt it a little bit upward, and I'm going to concentrate on blending that area that's raised so it'll become even and flush. So does that make sense? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to record. Yeah. Can I get the full disc to show it's on the jewel tool? Okay, so we're going to go ahead, recording, so we're going to go ahead and take care of this portion. A bit high, so not touch. And just take a little second to take a look at it. It's looking good. Look at it. See how it's gradual? It still needs a little bit more. It's okay. So just a little bit more. No worries. We'll get that done. Just a little bit more. I think we're good. I think just a little bit more. Just a little. A little bit. But do you see how the, with the scratch eraser, much friendlier and you get a more, like, I want to say more of a, gradual grind you guys see that it looks pretty even now huh is it even Yara? i think just a little bit more for good measure i don't know there we go let me do that so let's show the app tomorrow. let me go to the original spot yes let's go to the original so do you guys see now we're even does that can you guys see that Talk to me, people. I'm going to read comments while you guys look at this. Right there. Okay. Goodbye, Mustaba. Goodbye. So are you guys, I'm holding, oh, why, you got me now? No, you all show the cover. Let's do this. I'm going to talk to them and look at your comments. You guys see that? How does that look, you guys? Looks good to me. What do you guys think? Looks even to me. Yeah, so. Oh, so I, you, okay, so Trizac would be the same. So look, let me show you. If you're showing the Trizac, so the Trizac is great, you guys, because you can gauge it. Trizac would actually been another solution. To be honest with you, Trizac is a great alternative. I, had I thought of the Trizac, I might have even used the Trizac. So you're going to have, I can't find my green one, but whatever. So there you go. We have the green. So the green one, would have been a green one or the red one would have been a good option for sanding that down. But like, let's say you're at exactly kind of where you want to be, but you just want a little extra. 
that's when these two babies come into play. The fine and the very fine are just for that, just to get a little bit of something, something. You know what I mean? Just to make it perfect without the Olehi thing going off the edge. Like, you know, you just want to get something a little bit perfect that is gauged and get you that exact amount. The Trizac are those accurate abrasives. So basically, you know how you just, you're up there, you're almost there. It's kind of like the game in Price is Right. You know, they have that Yodelei thing that goes up uh, uh, the, the mountain. Yodelei, and then like, okay, and stop. And then when you go a little too much, Yodelei goes and crashes. You guys know that game in Price is Right? No one knows it. I sound like a crazy person, but okay. All right, so here's the very fine. So let's say that I feel as though a little bit more can be done here. Again, yes, yeah, so it's considered flat lapping or honing. So this is great. So like, let's see, we just wanna touch that little area up. Just one more time, one more time, people, one more time, one more time, ready? The very fine is perfect for this. So, I mean, so Carol, just tilt it right there. Now it's flat. So just if you want to just concentrate on that one area, just tilt it right on that one's area and you're going to get, oh, oh, not good. Look at how shiny the surface is. Wowza gazowza. And perfectly flat. Look at that. You guys see that? And look at how shiny it got. Hello. Can they see the shine? You guys see the shine? That's not even a polish, but you can get a beautiful shine on your bezel with the Trizac. So, yeah, thank you, Linda. You see that glare right there? It's a, call, it's a shine. Yes, so these are techniques, and that's what I'm going to primarily focus on on my next coming shows is techniques because I feel as though you guys have the good abrasives. You guys are using them, but some of you guys could use some added techniques. Why not? We're all about learning. We, um, the more, the merrier. Give me more techniques, Ani. I'm here to share. So thank you, Carol, for that excellent question. Excellent. Hey. Um, so nice, beautiful. Okay, good. I'm happy that helped. Now, I am going to go finish my work and probably get back to some kind of wedding uh, work. <laughs> but I'm going to do both. I'm going to work on dual tool and the wedding. Um, but yeah, you guys, I had I, I I'm excited to show you guys some videos of my um, my dress fitting yesterday with Michael Costello. So things are coming along, you guys. Just pray for me this week that we all get through it safely, happily, and all works well. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will. I don't know if I'll be here tomorrow. I, I have another dress fitting. I'll keep you guys posted, but. I'm going to keep these coming, you guys. Oh, you're so welcome, Linda. Linda, I love you. And Linda, and Tom, Tom, I love you. Tom, where's Tom? My Tom. Everybody be safe and kind, people. You are the safe and, you're the kindest soul. I swear, uh, Tom, it breaks my heart to hear that. But I'm going to start. Thank you, Mary. Hilda says, thank you, honey. This helped me a lot. Good. That was my objective of this video, is to help those. And if, and if I helped one person, we help, you know, that's all we can do here on this earth. Yeah, you know, I'm going to get back to, Tom, listen, I'm going to get back to my stone sales because Seta from Lighthouse is in Armenia and they really, they, they could use some help. So I do have stones that I've kept. I haven't even showed you guys a portion of them. I am going to do that. And during that show, Tom, I'm going to make sure I start your stone collection. Not one, not two, maybe a few more, really. We gotta get Tom back on this stone collection, you guys. So he's part of our, probably he's one of us. Gotta help one of our own. We love you and we'll take care of you. And thank you to Nicole, thank you, you're the best. I love you, you're the best. Louise Berry, Louise, this video is filled with techniques. It's a quick video. I'm, as soon as I'm off, you'll be able to watch the replay. You'll love it, it it'll help you. If, if it helps you. Okay, so Louise Berry, thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for watching. I love you. Be safe, be happy, and do something that makes you happy. I love you. Bye for now.